Are you guys ready to unbox all my Amazon packages that came in this week? Because that's what today's video is. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here today because we are gonna be going through all the stuff I impulsively bought, impulsively. I think I said impulsively. Isn't that the name of Logan Paul's podcast? Impulsively bought from Amazon this week and we're basically gonna do a big old Amazon unboxing, okay? Also, I'm going to be sharing with you our new glosses which just dropped on Larley Los Angeles. You guys can shop them right down below. They have like the little shop thing now, but I'm gonna be talking about those and trying those out in this video. We're gonna be covering a lot of things, but first let's dive into the packages. Subscribe, you know the drill, baby. If you ain't subscribed yet, I've been on here for 10 years. Where have you been? Maybe you just don't wanna subscribe at this point. Let's go ahead and jump to open up these packages. I have mixed feelings about the Stanley. I'm just gonna be honest about it. I think it's overpriced for what it is, but I bought a second one. So clearly I am the one who has issues and I am the one who is supporting this price point because it is ridiculous. The thing is, I love my Stanley. It's such a trendy cup right now, but I just think Walmart and other places have cups that do the exact same thing for a fraction of the cost because these bad boys are running between $70 and $85. Even some certain colors will be like $90. I'm like, for a cup? Get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. It is a glorified water cup, but I enjoy it. And I feel like it helps me drink more water, even though I am a pretty avid water drinker. Here's the gig. If you want to be a splurger and you want to contribute to the Stanley epidemic, like myself, don't do what I did. I got the one like this. It doesn't have a handle on it. And I've been carrying it for a couple months now. I love it. But you need the one with a handle because this cup is way too heavy. It is way too heavy of a cup to be walking around without a handle. It's so hard to carry. So here is my new Stanley. It looks a lot bigger. I'm spooked. <laughs> I think I'm on the world's biggest Stanley. Wait. Oh my God. It has this matte touch to it that I don't know that I love because I feel like it's going to get so dirty. But I feel like the handle is what's really going to save my life. Stanley. Let's see what size. 40 ounces. How many cups of water? Supposed to drink eight, eight ounces. So what's that? 64 ounces? You're supposed to drink one of this a day. I drink about four or five of these a day. I don't know what ounce this is. This is 30 ounces. So I accidentally bought one that's, oh, I like the color. It's like taupey. So this one's 10 more ounces than this one. I don't know if I love what I just bought here. I wish, I thought I was buying this size, but with a hand but apparently I was buying 10 more ounces, which is gonna make it even heavier to carry around. What have I done? <sighs> Y'all, I'm so pissed. Okay, so I even brought this down here. I bought on Amazon what's supposed to be the dupe for this Lululemon belt bag, which I just bought, and it was $60, which is literally like, what the f Okay, just kidding, it was 50. I thought it was 60. 50, I got it at Lululemon, and I wanted this to carry like this across my chest for when I do hikes, because I do those often these days, and I'm at the beach, so you can hold your stuff. It's really nice. So Amazon had a dupe, and I freaking ordered it. I'm so annoyed, because it did not come in. It says it's coming in tomorrow and I need to film this video tonight because I'm gonna be busy for the rest of the week. But what I'm gonna do is by the end of the video, I'm gonna insert what, what it looks like and see if it's really a dupe because I got it for a lot cheaper. So I'll keep you posted. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. I thought this was gonna be like super tight fitted. It looks like it's a little bit oversized, size small. This is a turtleneck, but it has a fleece lining in it. And I just really thought this cream color of the shirt was really pretty. You guys see, I feel like this would be cute with the right outfit. I might wear this with a jean skirt or something for the podcast tomorrow, but this is like a really good basic, but now it is fleece lined. So if you get hot easy, you might not like something like this. I, I could totally like see me burning to death in it, but I don't know, that may work out. Do you ever just black out on Amazon? Me too. It would not be a Laura Lee Amazon haul without sunglasses. <laughs> I love sunglasses. I may return these. I've been a big avid returner of things that I am not using because I now have an assistant to help me get my life together. Now I'm like returning stuff instead of just sleeping on stuff that I bought and I don't want. I'm being responsible and it's going back if I don't like it. So if I don't like these, they're going back. You know I never like sunglasses, so. Like Terminator. Gosh, I just thought they were gonna be so cute, but they're not, not on me and my crooked ears. They could be. I do this every single time we go through this. 
I think I'm gonna return them. I tried it and it didn't work out and that's okay. So you're going right back to Amazon. We love trying new things here. That's what this is all about. Okay, before we continue the video, I wanna talk to you guys about my last better internet initiative. Chat with you guys, telling you guys what's going on in the world and just a little piece of news. My favorite thing to bring awareness to is small businesses because I own two of myself, Laura Los Angeles being one of them. Men currently own more small businesses than women in the US. However, However, the number of women owned small businesses grew by 40% last year. Part of me thinks like influencing has a good bit to do with it, which I think is amazing. Over 1800 new small businesses were created by women last year. 64% of the new small businesses owned by women were started by women of color. In the last two years alone, more than 10 million new businesses have started in the US, which I think that's incredible growth for the amount of small businesses that actually had to close in 2020. So now we are building that back. I think that's so awesome. And this is just your friendly reminder to put out there to continue to support small businesses. I try to do it myself. I have a new small business TikTok video on the way. I've ordered all this stuff. One of the small businesses already reached out to me. They're like, oh my God, am I gonna be Video. So I'm so excited to be a part of that. I'm so excited to bring exposure to some businesses you guys may have never heard of and it means so much to the individuals who own them. Moving back into our haul video. Let's open another box. Ooh, this is a big one. I know there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here because I asked them to ship it all in one box. You know what I mean? I waited all day to film this video because I was waiting on two more Amazon packages and then they just emailed me and they're like, yeah, it's not coming until tomorrow. And I was like, oh, okay. <gasps> yeah. I ordered, so I've been enjoying silver ear uh, earrings lately, like silver jewelry. So I am mean, wearing gold today, but I like a mixture, okay? So I saw on Amazon, they had this like earring bundle. So I bought some silver earrings. Let's take a look. Okay, first we have these like rectangular shaped huggies that clip on, which will be really cute. Just like hanging. Love that. I like these. These are like little bitty baby hoops that are silver. These are cute. Then I got just some more Huggies. These are a little bit more of a medium size. Then we got a larger size hoop and it looks like it has some like rippling effect on it. Okay, I think this next pair is by far my favorites and it's like low key why I bought the whole pack but I think I'll wear all of them. I love a little twist hoop and so I wanted some in silver so here we have them. And I got one more pair. This little pack came with like a lot of earrings for a good price so that's why I was like let me try it out but they all do seem like good quality. And then I just got some standard medium kind of chunky medium chunky hoops next out of our box i got this hat and you may be like why did you buy a new york yankees hat in green well I'm, i think i'm having like a little st patrick's day like get together party at my house and i didn't have like anything green i wanted to wear so i was like do i make a sports team my fashion statement <laughs> maybe so i ended up getting this hat because i thought i might wear it we'll see but it's cute either way i love the hunter green color that it is next my travel mirror that I recommend it to you guys and love so much. I broke it yet again when I went to Vegas. I break them all the time. That's not only a bummer. And it's really my fault that they break because I put too much stuff like in my bags and in my luggage. So I just want a re-up on it because I don't want the glass to shatter because my other one's like smashed across the front. I'm scared it's gonna fall out. But here you have it. And these are just little travel mirrors. And what's nice is like they set up on their own. You can charge them so they don't take batteries. And then you tap it and it lights up. And then you can turn like orangey, warm tone, cool tone whatever you need so it's just like the perfect little travel mirror i am obsessed and i have to have mine so i had to repurchase next up in our bag i don't even know what this is oh my gosh i bought these jeans and they feel really nice i got them in a size small oh look at that they're like cargo jeans they do look really cute i think i'll try them on for you in my closet it's so dark in there it's hard to see but Little cargo jeans that are black. I thought these were pretty. So I have never ordered, I don't think I've ever ordered like realistically jeans from Amazon. So I'm a little skeptical, but I will say they feel really heavy and really nice material. So hopefully they are a good fit. Now we have a box inside of a box. Oh my gosh, so cute. I've seen so many girlies have this. How freaking cute is this little dish bowl with the legs on it and it's speckled if you guys can see like the speckling on it. I just think this is such a pretty piece. It actually ships so fast. I think this would be a pretty coffee table piece too. I just love the shape of it. It came in just as cute and it does feel super, super nice. So we have a winner. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. 
Oh my gosh, my St. Patrick's Day stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking of having like a table in my home and it's like grab something green and like I wanna have like hats and headbands and necklaces. So everybody's wearing something green in the spirit and no one gets a little pinchy pinch. So I just bought a bunch of these shamrock necklaces. We're getting ready, honey. Okay, these are literally the biggest mess ever. What's going on? They also smell really bad. <laughs> they smell like chemicals. Great. We have little hats and necklaces and St. Patty's Day necklaces. So they just give you like a variety pack of necklaces. I'm gonna have to go through and try to untangle these and just get them all set up really cute. I might need more depending on how many people are coming to this little shim dig. I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna sit here all day and organize St. Patty's Day necklaces, but you get the point. I do like this variety pack so everybody can have something a little bit different. Next in our bag. <gasps> okay, so I bought these undies because they're supposed to be kind of like the aloe ones. So I'm like, what are they? Let's, let's see. Okay, they definitely, I don't, I think I'm gonna have to return. I don't know. They have like this mesh. <laughs> that feels so weird. It's like giving jock strap vibes rather than undie vibes. But they are supposed to be like a seamless undie here. Like pretty seamless. So I just thought they were gonna be like the aloe ones where they're like that silky touch feeling. And they're really not. They feel more like spandex and they have like a mesh vibe. I don't know. I'm gonna marinate on these. What's cool is they come in a multi-pack. Like you get five in a pack for a good price. I definitely don't think they're dupe. But they are similar. You know what I mean? They're like 70% the same. I don't even know if that makes sense to you guys. So there's that. Next. Actually, can I show you guys my glosses real quick before we keep jumping in? So we have three new glosses. They're $12 each or they're three for 30. So you could get them for 10 bucks each if you buy the bundle. Three different colors. This is Nude Blossom, Rose Glimmer, Sparkling, Sparkling Iris. And what's cool about them is my lab actually invented this lid where it is magnetic. So, so here you have your lid and you can just press it back on and it sticks on. Also, if you are normally turn your lids, you'll probably do that a little bit because you'll be in the habit of it, but that's okay because it's still sticks if you turn it and then you just pull it off. The applicator is a paddle brush. So kind of just like your standard lip gloss brush. And I want to swatch them for you because I don't want you guys to see these sparklier ones and think they're going to be like glitter. They are not. They have a lightweight formula, not sticky at all. And this is Nude Blossom, everybody's favorite. And yeah, it's a thin formula. So they're really comfortable. Not goopy at all and they smell delicious. They have like this candy berry smell and Nude Blossom is my favorite. I wear it every day of my life. Ha, ha, ha. Can't live without it. It's the perfect nude color. 12 bucks on Laurel Los Angeles. Be sure to check it out. So now let me show you Sparkling Iris so you guys can get the vibe. Okay, I'm gonna show you it with a flash so you guys can see. It's like a pretty clear and it does have sparkle to it, but again, you're not gonna feel it. It's not gonna be like grainy on your lips at all. So silky smooth. Okay, can you guys see the sparkle? Can you guys see that glistening sparkle? It's so freaking beautiful. This is what it looks like on the lips, especially if you're filming or you have a light on your lips, you're gonna be sparkling. So then Rose Glimmer is similar. It just has like a very soft, faint, rosy tone to it. So I'm gonna swatch it and then I'm going to put the flash on it. Can you guys see it has like a little bit of a rosy undertone to it? It too has a nice sparkle. So this is Rose Glimmer and it has like a similar, a little more faint sparkle, but with a rosy finish. So they're both gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love them. Check it out. I will link them down below. Next package. Let's jump right in. I had to plug my glosses, y'all. I was like, do I make a dedicated video on these lip glosses? I don't know. So I figured I'd just mention them to you guys and show you how I love them. If you guys follow me or us on Instagram, I've been talking about them. I'll admit. Okay. Yeah. I'm so excited about this box. This has some really cute stuff. Even though my niece doesn't live with me right now because she's in college, I uploaded a vlog, like life update with her. A little bit, a little bit of a one. She's coming to visit me in like two weeks. So I'm gonna give her this. I bought this for her little apartment because I was like, oh my God, this would be so cute for your little bathroom. Are you kidding me? A chill pill bath mat. Oh my gosh. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I was like, oh my God, cause like her, her little space is small. So this little rug would be so cute. And like everything in her apartment, it's like decorated with colors and stuff, different colors. So I was like, this is very the vibe. I saw that on the Amazon like front page, homepage and I was like, give it to me right now. All right, next, this is something the Gen Z girlies sold me on. Actually more so millennials, I gotta say. <laughs> 
This is a brush case. I don't know. Like if I don't end up using this, I will return it because I don't, I like my Laura Lee Los Angeles little brush bag, but I, because the brush bag's a little bigger, I put way more than brushes in it. So I was thinking I could use this one because it's so small for my bag. Cause sometimes I'll bring a brush or two with me to touch up. So I've seen everybody with this. He has a little brushes on it and you just pop it. It's magnetic and it sticks together. So let's put some brushes in it. Here we have three brushes. We're gonna pop them in. If this doesn't fit, I'm gonna scream. Oh, it does, it fits perfectly. It doesn't hold much. You could definitely put like your lipstick. Oh, actually I might use this for like my lipstick, my lash glue, my lip gloss, and maybe like a brush. How cute just to put in your bag. And it's silicone, so you can wipe it down if it gets messy. Okay, I think I love this. I think I've officially decided that I love this. I was like, it's a junk or do I need it? I love it. It's so cute. Okay, that was all in that box. We have one more humongous box to open. Ugh, this box is so heavy. We're about to find out what I ordered. I didn't realize I was ordering a thousand shot glasses. I bought stuff for the party. Here's some headbands. See, these are gonna go on the table where I'm like, just pick something green, grab something green. I don't know. What do we think? How cute. Look guys, they're all different. I'm gonna have to spruce some of them up. Oh, this one's the best one. <laughs> Imagine me. Absolutely. This is the vibe I definitely wanted. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. Okay, these are a win for the party. Yes, need these. Pat already fell off. I will say these are not actually good quality, but they're just for the party. And then I wanted to put these around, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see about that. All of Tyler's friends were born in Ireland and they live here now. They moved here, like all of his friends. And I've definitely gone out with them on St. Patrick's Day and they go so hard. So I know they will love all of this stuff. They're like the funniest people I know, so. Then I picked up a refill. A refill of my favorite sunscreen. This is the, I like the clear one. So many people are, oh shit, I bought the tinted one. No! hate the tenant one. It's not my vibe, it's too light for my skin. So I think I'm gonna have to return. I don't know, I'm gonna try to use it. I don't wanna return it. I've been out of this for a minute and I'm not happy about it. Like I need this, so like I don't have time for a return. So we're just gonna keep it and we're gonna use it. I don't like the tint one. I like the one without color in it. And then this is what was making the box so heavy, which is just, oh, absurd. I don't read whenever I buy stuff sometimes if that isn't clear to you guys. And I thought I was buying a few shot glasses and I managed to buy a thousand shot glasses. Now who's gonna be taking a thousand shots? Not me. I don't know what this journey's gonna be like, but hey, we may use them, we'll see. This is squeaking. <laughs> this is literally squeaking on my head. Okay, and lastly, I just wanted to open this pack. I'm looking around, so I'm like, is that everything? I think that was everything. So I think that's everything I ordered, minus the stuff that uh, didn't come in. But again, at the very end of the video, if you guys will hang tight, I will insert that footage of that stuff because God, it just didn't come in. But this is like my first ever PR box from Glossier. I've bought a ton of their stuff and they sent out this package because they are now in Sephora. See, it's a little Sephora X Glossier. So let's just see what's in the box, I thought, because I've never gotten a Glossier PR box and I'm just curious what they sent. First, we got this little drawstring baggie. <sighs> okay, this is really cute. It's a little mirror. It has the Glossier G. Says you look good, very cute, I like that. They also gave a decal sticker that says you look good. It's probably hard to see, but there's that. They sent the Milk Jelly Cleanser, which I've used this before, and it is a really nice lightweight cleanser. Then we got the Ol Serum Hybrid, the After Dew, Future Dew, not After Dew. I think this is the one that, wow, look at that packaging. It's like holographic vibes. Let's squirt some of this out. Whoa, it's like pink. I see that, that's like pink. Wow, interesting. Okay, it feels really thick, smells stinky. It's to put on the highlight points of your face for a little bit of an extra glow. Okay, it, it feels so rich and like thick and glowy. So it kind of feels like a gloss for your face almost, but like I've never tried it. So I'm, I'm down to get into that. Okay, thank you Glossier. Next they gave us a little boy brow, which was one of their most popular products, just like their brow gel. I used to use their brow gel all the time before, there you go. 
bam. Like the bushy brow came in because they're, they have a really nice brow gel, but it doesn't like slick your brows up. So, oh, and then they sent the cloud paint cheek color. We're gonna swatch. This is in the color Storm and it's like a raspberry color. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I think I use the tiniest amount, but like it, it does sheer out, but definitely doesn't take a lot. That is gonna be really pretty on. Very excited for these items. And then they sent me one of my favorite items to ever own from Glossier, which is their fragrance called Glossier U. It smells so good. It's like spicy. Let me remember. Yes, it's like clean and spice had a baby. It would be this. I will say this one, I don't wanna say ginger, but almost like this ginger rich spice to it. Mm, it has such a woodsy, warm, rich smell. It looks like it would smell florally based on the packaging to me because it's like on brand for Glossier, but the smell is very not that. It's just very, it could, I wouldn't say unisex, but close to that. I love it. I think it's absolutely delicious. So, and then they sent this little package here, which is in like this thingamabob, this little baggie here with drawstrings. Oh, it's their mini beauty bag. This is so cute. I love it. I love the colors. Isn't that pretty? So it's like a little bag to put everything in. Thank you, Glossier and Sephora for sending over. Oh, interesting. Look, the inside has multiple packets and pockets to put all your stuff in. So what a great little travel baggie here. Too cute. All right, guys, and that is everything that I ordered. Unfortunately, not everything came in. I'll insert right here some of the products that I wanna talk about that are gonna come in late. I don't know why it's so dark in here right now. We got the last packages and we're gonna open them up right now. Got the Lululemon bag. Oh, we're gonna see if it's like it. Aesthetically, I mean, honestly, they probably, they look like pretty much the same. I would say the Lululemon one's a tiny bit bigger and the material on this one is just a little bit different, but like neither material is bad. <gasps> oh, cute. It has little pockets in it. So this is like just as good, I think. And I think it's gonna aesthetically look the exact same. And then this one has the exact same little pockets in it. So just kind of like whatever you want to spend your money on. Obviously you're going to save a ton with this one. Very cute. I would say this is definitely, you know, in that family. Our next box, our final box. Woo, I'm so excited. My glazed hair came in. On TikTok, I posted me dyeing my hair. I can link that down below if you wanna watch it. But I show you how I use, it's a conditioning hair gloss. I use this every other time I dye my roots and that's how I get it like this dark shiny color. But it's not a gray cover up or like root touch up. So I have to touch up my roots with my Clairol. I don't know what this is. <gasps> Crazy. This is just like the funniest, cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Okay, so you know those like wavy mirrors that everybody has? So it's like a floor mirror for like an outfit pick and they cost like $10,000. They have the minis on Amazon. Literally the minis. I mean, it doesn't light up or anything, but you just hang it on the wall. And I think they have it in a bunch of different colors if I remember correctly, but this is like the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. I, I can't, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, you're kidding me. Hey, that's officially everything. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Don't forget to check out our new lip glosses on Laura Lee Los Angeles. They're only $12 each or three for 30. And also let me know what you think about the magnetic lid. Very excited. I love the aesthetic. These are so beautiful. So let me know what you think about them. Thank you guys for all the support on my small business and subscribe before you leave. And that's it for today's video. I love you guys. And thank you for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.